Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about those first two weeks of breastfeeding and the struggles, just how tough it really is. I heard going into it that the first two weeks of breastfeeding were the hardest and I didn't really understand why. If you guys wanna see my first two weeks experience and struggles and tips and tricks on how um, I got breastfeeding to work for, for me and my baby, um, then keep on watching. Okay, so first and foremost, I just wanna talk about my breastfeeding experience um, from the beginnings. As soon as Sydney was born, like within, you know, minutes after her birth, we put her to the breast and she instantly latched. And I guess all babies do, or most babies do, that's what I've been told. So. I was very excited to see that she knew what she was doing. I put her to the breast and she instantly started sucking and it what seemed like, you know, swallowing and it looked like she knew, was, knew exactly what she was doing. So that was really exciting and I got my hopes up thinking like, oh cool, this is gonna be fine. A couple hours later, um, a nurse came in and said we're gonna try to latch again. But she was born four pounds, 14 ounces. So very small um, and her mouth is so little that um, it was hard for her to get the nipple completely back into her um, mouth where it needed to be. It needs to touch the soft palate, which I didn't really know. And I didn't realize how deep of a latch you have to actually get with a baby. Um, so that she had struggles with. She would like kind of get on there and make the sucking noises and sucking sounds and I thought she was latched but apparently she wasn't. Then the lactation nurse came in and paid us a visit and um, kind of observed what we were doing and said, yeah, she's not latched, which I thought she was. So I'm actually really glad that she came in. Um, and then so she was observing what was going on and she asked if she could help. I guess it's a very common term to use nipple sandwich. Awkward, but when we're talking about breastfeeding, it's just, it is what it is. Um, so she came in and she kind of like squeezed my breasts so that it would um, fit better into Sydney's mouth. And the baby latched on pretty well to that. We had to wait until Sydney opened her mouth really wide, whether it be from crying, yawning, or just natural instinct for her to open really wide. And that was really difficult because she really didn't want to open wide. The only time she did was when she was crying. Um, and that was really hard because they call it quick and close, but it's kind of like shoving your baby onto your breast. So she would be crying, mouth wide open, and then we would push her in quick and close um, and then squeeze my breast. So it was a whole thing um, to get her to try to latch. And then most of the time did not latch properly. The lactation nurse, she said, okay, let's try something else. Let's try hand expressing. So, um, oh, and I instantly did that too. I hand expressed, um, meaning like you squeeze um, the colostrum out with your own hand. Um, I did that right when I gave birth as well. I forgot to mention that. So here I am like hand expressing and squeezing so colostrum would come out in order to get her to understand like that's where her food came from. You kind of press her nose into the colostrum a little bit and then um, like a couple of times and go back and forth between pressing the nose into the colostrum and then pressing her lips into it as well. So she kind of could smell it and associate that with food. So let's try to hand express into a spoon. So she went and got us a plastic spoon for me to hand express um, some colostrum into so that we could visually see her taking in um, food and nutrients. And apparently over the first 24 hours, she only needed, it was like three teaspoons or three tablespoons worth, don't quote me, something like that, worth of colostrum. So it's really mind blowing that like only a couple of drops were like liquid gold. It's all she needed for a couple of hours. It's so crazy to know that only a few drops actually nourished her and fed her. I tried to get her to latch every single time it was tried to I it was time to feed her. So I had to feed her between two and every two and three hours. So that was really exhausting and that's from start to start. I would try to get her to latch. She wouldn't. She might chomp a little bit but she wouldn't. Um, on both sides I would try it and then if that didn't work, which it didn't any of the times, I would hand express into a spoon. Then daddy would feed her from the spoon. So first he would dip his pinky into the colostrum and then have her sniff it on her nose and then put it into her mouth with his pinky. And he would have to get all the way in, like this far in, 
to her soft palette before she would start sucking and then she would start sucking. He would just continue to do that with the pinky. And so once she got a hang of his pinky with the colostrum, he would put the spoon up to her lips so that it could like almost fall into her mouth and she could smell it and all that. So then she would lick um, that up and she would eat that way for the first 24 hours, that that worked. But another nurse came in one night because I was, I was just about to feed her and she goes, can I watch? And I was like, okay. Mind you, I'm a first time mom, I've never breastfed. I didn't take any breastfeeding courses at all, so which I probably should have, but I didn't. So I was a little bit nervous and didn't wanna be watched and critiqued. The nurse is kind of standing over my shoulder, literally watching me try to get Sydney to latch. And of course she wouldn't. And I was trying every tip that I could. I was trying the quick and close. Um, my boyfriend would try to help me position her head while I like, squeezed my breast so that it would fit into her mouth and none, none of it was working and it was a little bit like frustrating for me. The nurse was standing there staring, watching, and she goes, I'm gonna go get the lactation nurse. And I was like, okay. I instantly felt like, like I got an F on like a final or something and I just, I don't know, I, I felt very defeated because at this point, you're not sleeping at all. Like if I started to feed her at say 1 p.m., let's just say randomly, and I tried to get her to latch for 20 minutes and she didn't latch and then I hand expressed and then daddy f fed her th on the spoon. That all, the whole process could take like an hour and 15 minutes or an hour. So you're done at two, but really you started at one. So you have to feed her again by four, no later than four. You only get like an hour and a half, two hours in between maybe if you're lucky. So it's just like a constant kind of tiring struggle and then you just gave birth and you're not sleeping anyway and you're exhausted and it's a whole thing. So anyway, the lactation consultant came back in. That visit prompted the cup. We have this silicone little cup here. Um, it has the big container and then the smaller container here. I'll see if you can see that. There. That's what that looks like. Also, she brought her pump in, which usually they don't have you pump your colostrum because you don't pump a whole lot. But because when I was hand expressing, I was actually actually expressing a lot. She brought her pump in, which was, uh, I contribute to saving my milk supply and saving breastfeeding for me and Sydney, honestly. And I, I don't know if that's like a no-no or what, but for me, if it wasn't for pumping, I honestly don't know if we would have been able to establish a good routine. So she brings her pump in and I start pumping and I'm actually getting some colostrum, which is amazing. Um, and then enough so that we could put it in to the silicone cup. And it ended up being only like five milliliters um, the very first time and the first couple of times. Daddy would feed her from the cup um, and he would put this up to her lips and then her nose and try that whole thing. Again, it was exhausting because I would have to try to get her to latch. Meanwhile, we're keeping a chart of the exact time that we um, start to feed her. If I hand expressed, if I pumped, and if she latched on the left side or the right side for how long and could we hear her swallowing and diapers as well because the very first you know days um you don't really know how much food or how much breast milk or colostrum that they're getting so you have to keep track track of their diapers i kept feeling like it was my fault if she wasn't latching the next day the lactation consultant came back in and suggested this nipple shield. This and pumping saved breastfeeding for me. The nipple on it, if you can see, is nice and tall. The nipple is big enough so that it hits her soft palate and when she opens her mouth as wide as she can go, it fits right perfectly in her mouth and she was instantly able to latch and suck on it and get milk um, colostrum in the beginning. Consultant said like it's great, it'll get her to latch, but it's kind of hard, a little bit hard to have her wean off of it. And I'm thinking, why the heck do we have to get her to wean off of it if she's actually latched onto me and getting her milk? I don't know, maybe there are reasons down the road, but that's like, honestly, the nipple shield has saved me. My nipples don't hurt. I would still pump and we would still try with the cup. That way we could see exactly how much she was getting. That pretty much brings us up to coming home. So because she was three weeks early, um, I didn't get my breast pump yet from my insurance. They do provide a breast pump. So I hadn't received that in the mail yet. 
So while I was at the hospital, I had to call and have them express ship it to my house so that it would be home by the time I got home um, from the hospital with her. And that was really important because like I said, pumping kind of saved my supply. By the time I got home, my pump was waiting for me and I have the Medela, Medela, I don't really know um, how you pronounce it. Um, but this is just the one that the is like provided by the insurance. It has these tubings here and then it came with a couple of bottles and then it just has like the normal setting here and then a let down button as well. But it does have the two double sides. By day four, my milk was definitely coming in and I was pumping a crazy amount, like more volume. I would fill the cup with 20 mils and I mean her little belly couldn't handle it. She went from five to mom filling up 20 mils in like a day. So that was a lot for her. So I started pumping and putting it in um, the fridge because I didn't know what to do with my excess milk. And I was told, don't save any of it, give it all to her. And I'm thinking, no way in heck is this little baby gonna actually be able to drink all of that right now. So I was a little confused, but we were trying that the best we could. And then I ended up storing a couple of pumps into the fridge just because I knew she wouldn't be able to eat it. Yeah, by day four, she started to kind of reject the cup. Um, she would eat a couple of mils from this, but then spit it right back out. We had an outpatient visit with a lactation consultant going to her office. So by that day, it was it was like day five when we had that visit. She, um, she had gained a couple of ounces back. Born 414, when we left the hospital, she was down to 48, which is fine. All babies lose weight in the hospital. But she went down to 48, which is so scary because she's so little. So mom was stressed, I felt the pressure, she needed to eat, I needed to help her gain weight. And then um, I fed her on the breast in the office. So I used the nipple shield and fed her on one side. She latched absolutely amazing, finally in front of someone. Um, she latched for a good solid like 12 minutes, I think. The nurse weighed her and she had gained an ounce and a half um, through that feeding. So that means she took in an ounce and a half of breast milk. That was phenomenal. The lactation nurse was so happy. So then after that, at the, at the appointment, um, they, um, I pumped and expressed, it was like five ounces um, between the two breasts and I only pumped for like eight minutes. So apparently by day six is a really crucial point where you, um, your breast milk supply is kind of um, established. So you might be really engorged up until day, day six, but then after that it kind of subsides and your body regulates your breast milk um, production based on your baby's needs and what you're kind of telling your body to produce based on pumping and the baby latching. So I pump two times a day now. My milk supply is knock on wood, doing pretty good. So after that appointment, literally Sydney would not eat from the cup whatsoever. She started just clamping her jaw down, her little gums down and wouldn't let the cup in near her mouth. And if she did get any milk in there, she would not swallow it whatsoever. Daddy would try to get her to swallow it and she would just spit it right back out. So she instantly rejected this after day five, I believe. Um, and then now is only exclusively eating from the breast with the nipple shield. Um, and then I am pumping and freezing using all of my supply um, until we need it. And I've been told not to give her a bottle or pacifier for the first two to three weeks. So she is two and a half weeks now, still has not had a bottle or anything like that yet. Um, I probably, because she had a hard time latching, I'll probably wait maybe until she's a month old and then try to introduce a bottle. She has gained back all of her birth weight plus a couple of ounces, so now she is just over five pounds. She was almost 5.1 um, at her last doctor's visit a couple days ago. So because she is gaining weight so successfully and latching onto me so successfully, knock on wood, I am able to feed her every three hours during the day. That's from start to start. And then at nighttime, I am now allowed to let her sleep until she wakes up to eat. Go figure. She pretty much wakes up every three hours on the dot. I'll hear her making the sucking noises and I'll know she's awake, she's ready to eat. The whole beginning process was so stressful for me. It was time consuming. There were times where we only had 45 minutes in between feedings and I feel like I was just 
a slave to feedings. Honestly, like if you just stick with it, if you're having a tough time, if you try to stick with it, as long as your baby's not losing too much weight, I mean, that's the main concern is that your baby's healthy and fed. But if you just stick with it, the time will get easier. It really will. Just keep hydrated, eat a very well-balanced diet, and the most important thing for your milk supply is going to be nursing and nursing often. Um, that's what I've been told, so that's what I'm sticking to. Be an advocate for yourself. I kind of asked to try the pump because I had never tried it at home. I didn't know how to pump or use a pump, so I kind of was an advocate for myself in that way. I wanted to do everything that I possibly could to get my milk supply going and to get her to latch. I was an advocate for myself in that way. Like I wanted all the resources I can, like the spoon, the nipple shield, the cup, the pump, everything. Use your resources, go take breastfeeding classes, ask questions, um, but it was totally worth it in the end. And yeah, so that, that was my journey for the first two weeks. Enough rambling. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you've been there, done that, let us know in the comments below. If you are about to, um, you know, if you've taken a breastfeeding course, let us know. I want to just be a resource for women to kind of come to for advice and help and encouragement. So you're not alone if you're struggling with breastfeeding. We obviously have all been there done that and most of us have probably had struggles so give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye